Hi everyone, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to my YouTube channel. Cheers. So this is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign of Virgos. How are you doing, my darling Virgos? How's everyone doing? I'm sure you're all fine and keeping safe. This is a general reading, so not all the messages here are going to resonate with you, but if it does, just claim it 100%. But if these messages confuse you, I want you to go and find out where your other sign placements are. What are they? Your sun, and this is your sun, I'm assuming. Your moon, your Venus, love, money, luxuries, your north node, your ascendant. These are very important placements. Go to Google, birth chart calculator, put in your details, find out where these placements are. Go to my channel and watch all those readings. And I guarantee you, there will be additional messages there for you. Now, I don't know why this card was like this. I'm just going to keep it. So I'm going to start, okay, Virgos, by taking some cards from my Crystal and Angel Oracle cards, okay, to give you uh, a mini message or a gist of what this reading will be about. For my Virgos, please. Yeah. Oh boy. Lapis. You know, this blue color is all about the throat. It's about your Vishuddha. It's about expressing yourself, um, not being scared to speak. And as you can see, there's a sword here. There's a sword of clarity. This is like, you know, something coming in to break and remove the fog. This is life changing epiphany or experience. This has very, a lot of tower energy. In it. Let's see the tower card shows up for you, Virgos. It's a time of big and blessed changes for you and God is supporting you each step of the way. I think this tower card, which is going to be coming in, or if it has already come in, has brought about a huge change in your life. And I want you to know that whatever you found out, this life-changing epiphany, you are supported. I'm getting a very heavy feeling like somebody here is very scared. Ruby, bless your heart. Are some of you having any, you know, heart problems? I don't know why I'm feeling this. You know, scared. Panic. Panic is the word. I'm getting this feeling of panic. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Somebody's heart is broken here. This is like a three of swords for me. I don't know what this tower, this is a very tower energy, which is going to clear the fog, is going to break something down. It's going to be uncomfortable, but you're supported. Somebody here is panicking, man. And this heart for me is somebody who's you know, getting palpitations, not able to sleep. Can you comment and let me know, Virgos, if this is what is going on with you? Life lessons. This is so Saturnian. It's very karmic. It's like the devil. You can break free, my God. The devil keeps you in chains. You do know that. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and the blessings they concern. Okay. I can tell you the three cards I see here. This is the devil. You're dealing with something karmic, which was a lesson. And you, this, this, this life-changing epiphany, which is a tower that has come in, is going to help you break free from the devil. Bless your heart. Somebody here is going through in, what can I say, palpitations or panic attacks. I want you to know that you are supported. Okay. Comment below. Let me know if you guys are going through this. And now I am. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to take this card too. It's just telling me to take it. This this, this rose quartz is about your love life. This is about a love or love situation. It's about a love situation. New or renewed romantic love is here for you. Once you let go, Virgos, you need to let go of something very toxic and karmic. It was a lesson, not a blessing, Virgos. You know, I, I have been getting these messages for you for a long time, Virgos, where you, somebody here is stuck. Somebody here is stuck in some kind of a toxic, um, some kind of a toxic relationship and they're finding it very hard to break free. Very hard, but there's this, this life-changing epiphany, you know, which is coming in, which is, like I told you, like the tower card. 
I think is going to shift you away from this toxicity. Okay. So my Virgos. Okay, Virgos. Now, feel free to swap the roles. Apply this to you or to the person you're thinking about when you come across this reading. So weird. Again, two cards have just stayed back here. I'm just going to take them and I don't know what they are, but I'm just going to take it. I feel somebody here is, is could be, <clears throat> and my voice is going, <coughs> sorry. <sighs> you know, when I told you this blue, this Vishuddha, somebody here perhaps doesn't want me to speak this. I don't care. So I'm going to speak. Somebody here could be going through some kind of a divorce. Some kind of legalities. Okay, Virgos, or going towards it. Virgos. Oh, my Virgos. My Virgos, my God. Cards here. I'm going to start a lot of cards here. <clears throat> There's an empress here, and I think that's your workers. I feel you're showing up as an empress. Somebody who has the power to create. This is Taurus, Venus and Taurus. The power to create in the 3D. They say the empress is three months pregnant, you know. So she has to be very patient. She's going, she's going to give birth to what? A real life person. Not just a, you know, a piece of jewelry or an outfit, a real living human being. That's the power to create and manifest. You are showing up as somebody who is a Venus incarnate, sensual, sexual, beautiful, abundant, where you touch turns to gold. This could be your energy. I love it. And you definitely have a child because I see the page. Where is he gone? Here he is. Page of swords. Perhaps you have a child who's very talkative. Why this? Why million words a minute? I think there's a mama and a baby here. It's also a card of stalking and spying on social media. This is also a card of half truths or delayed news or somebody delaying giving you something. First message I get here is somebody here is a person who has a child. It's a mama and her baby. Okay. First message I get here. I'm gonna put these now you are dealing with a king of one there is an age difference and i think there is also a maturity difference empress and a king is not a match look at the difference here you are venusian they are mars we have a lot of passion here though this is a very person is very very passionate very passionate they just love they love to, you know, like, as you can see, he's holding that wand in his hand. Somebody who's very hot and passionate, perhaps, you know, your sex and the passion between the two of you Virgos was, oof, legend. You know what legends are made of. This person is very arrogant, extremely arrogant, fiery. Okay, They go behind what they want and they chase it. They chase. And what they set their eyes on, they freaking go and get. It's a go-getter. Somebody who wants to compete, somebody who wants to take, you know, who wants to climb up. So this is somebody who's very driven. This is fire in their hands. Yeah, they run with it. Okay. Action-oriented Mars, Mars. See the glyph of Mars there. Mars is all about action. Okay. This is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. Somebody who's not scared to show their desire. And as an empress, you're somebody who's very much in touch with your central side as well. So this match in bed was 4th of July. Okay, 4th of July. This could also be a leader or a politician. Somebody very arrogant though. You know, they know they're good. They know they're the shit. And they like to show off. I'm going to give you this message too. This is a family, a family. Now, these two cards here, 
this is you donning this avatar, I feel. You have, you know, I told you the Vishuddha is about the throat. <clears throat> and because I felt like coughing in between and I felt somebody not allowing me to speak. I don't know why I feel you are showing up as an empress to me, but you've not spoken your truth. You know, and this, 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 this card, and then I come back to this card. Life-changing epiphany. Do you see the sword here? See all the blue. Somebody has not allowed you to speak, and I think it's this. Okay, they're not allowed you to speak. This is what you've become, and I'll tell you why. And this is somebody who's around you, but you do not know they exist. This is the Knight of Cups. This could be a Scorpio, and they are around you, Virgos. They are around you. They're waiting with that cup to come in. You have transformed yourself from just being nurturing and sweet and caring to this. This is a mean, angry, aggressive woman. Now, look, when somebody gets hurt or when they've been backed into a corner, I mean, you don't expect them to, you know, stand there and just put their hands up and say, okay, I give up. You're tired. You have been taking a lot from somebody and there has been juggling going on. I don't think this is loss of money or ups and downs. No, somebody has been juggling you. It could be they're juggling you and their work. There has been no emotions here. Zero. They've been juggling you with something. Perhaps they're a workaholic. I don't know. You're dealing with a workaholic person. Work is more important than you are. Or there is somebody else who's more important than you are. I don't know. Tell me. Let me know, Virgos, please. Comment below. They've been juggling. You've been juggled. And I think, I don't know why I feel that this person doesn't show vulnerability. They're closed off. They're closed off. And you are forced to get out of this empress, which is, you know, Venus incarnate of beauty, grace, style, refinement, ah, all those wonderful things. And you're tired of being this with them. You got her actively. Okay. It's me now. You have donned a new avatar, like a life-changing epiphany or experience has come. Okay. And it's a time for it's time for a big change for you, but you are being supported. Because this individual has been a miser in love and in money. I don't know. I'm not getting money that much, but in love, yeah. Sex, no. They have been very passionate with you, okay? But I feel that they do not want to be vulnerable. And you missed this, the cups. There is no cups here. I do not know what, what you found out. When I see the moon card here, this is cancer. could also be a mother figure but when the moon comes out it is about secrets were they holding back on a secret and then when i told you at the beginning of the page it could be a little talkative child that you have chatty bratty naughty but it's also somebody holding back not telling you the full truth it's also a card of holding back somebody has been giving you truth in doses you know truth is the truth huh when you're pregnant you're pregnant i'm not a little you are or you're not and this is the energy I'm getting here. I want to know why this is happening. Is this or not? You're changing the way you're dealing with this person. This sword is coming out to play. Because you're tired. This person has been giving you half-truths. This is a card of somebody delaying, giving you news, giving you small little things. Not the whole truth. And this is also a card of spying. On social media. I don't know if you went snooping. I do not know. And Virgo, you do know your card, the hermit, is all about that. Okay? It is my card of Nancy, Drew, and Sherlock. Did you go snoop? Did you go on to their phone, check stuff? I think you have. Somebody here has, and you found out that they were juggling you with somebody else. And they were closed off and emotionally unavailable to you. Heart is closed. Why? We found out a secret. That the, and you know, and this, the, when the secret card comes out, <clears throat> it is always an energy of some woman. Because see, the moon is a very feminine energy, right? So did you, I'll give you another message. Did you find out that they have another, <clears throat> what's that? Um, 
another uh, person who is pregnant or another person with whom they have a baby with? I don't know. Perhaps they gave you the half truth that they had somebody else, okay? But you didn't know that they have a child with them to Virgo. I'm just giving this to you, okay? I'm just getting this message. So, But they have been hella deceptive with you. They have not opened up to you. They're very arrogant. I'll give you that too. Very arrogant, okay? And they've been juggling you with somebody else and the secret came out. This moon tells me loud and clear that you found out some secret. Now, this could be via spying because like I said, you are the card of going deep. Virgo, you are the hermit. You're not scared to go deep and look at the crap. You're not scared to shine that light deep within you and outside and look at things and understand why something is going on. You have that kind of patience, okay? And you like to snoop. That's you. This is Pisces and Cancer. So when I see Pisces, you know, I think whenever you've tried to talk to this, this arrogant person, you know, about what's going on, they've come at you with, with a lot of arrogance and, you know, like that blowing smoke on your face type of energy. This is a secretive connection that you found. And, you know, you have, you have this fear, you know, the subconscious fear that maybe this what is going on. Giving you another message. There was a lot of passion between you initially. Did you find this passion dying? And that's what put this fear in you that perhaps, you know, there's somebody else. And I think for a long time, you've not been able to speak. You've not been able to speak up and you're, you are doing it now. You found out hidden info. Some kind of deception. There's another feminine figure here. This could be an older woman too. Quintessential uh, third person. Could be an ex. I'm just giving you this message. Bringing this to a close, the death is not, not a literal death ever. This is a card of ending something. But the ending is transforming it. It's not killing it. This is Scorpio in Pluto. Okay, Scorpio in Pluto. Scorpio, Pluto. This is releasing. You're changing something up. You're just transforming it. If this is relationship, you're bouncing. If you have been somebody who's not spoken, you're speaking. If this is somebody with whom you feel that they're not opening their heart, you are closing yourself up. I'm getting this. You're transforming yourself. You are changing yourself because you can break free. Remember this card? Break free from your old patterns, recurring negative patterns by praying to understand what the lesson is you understood. Bring about this change. This is a deep transformation. Pluto goes freaking deep, man. Okay. You are changing yourself from the core. I think you've been a very, very sweet, loving. And this is you, Virgo, because you have Mother Mary energy. Sweet, loving, of service. You could be a doctor, a therapist, a healer, a teacher. You've been this. No more. She's coming out to play, baby. Changing yourself. You're transforming something. And it's a welcome transformation. The universe supports you. The universe supports you. Something is coming to an inevitable end. You know, this life changing epiphany i don't know what you found out you did find something out and you know this card of bless your heart that came out see how this person's heart is closed you're tired dealing with this and thanks to them and their bullshit you are suffering today because you have some kind of palpitations or panic attacks i'm getting this loud and clear you're here Somebody here is going to try to make a decision to move, bring some big cycle to a close and to move because you're tired. I feel this energy of somebody saying, I need to make a choice. I need to decide where I'm putting my passion into, where I want to put my focus into. Okay. What do I want to pursue? Decision making time, strategizing. This is again you, Virgos. This is quintessential Virgo. Having the patience to understand something going deep. Understanding what has gone wrong. Strategizing and planning. That's what you're doing. And let me tell you, no matter where you go, there is sunshine, Virgo. There is sunshine. What you do not know is you have this energy around you. This is somebody who is obsessed with love. There's somebody around you who's, very, who's obsessed with you. And I don't think you know that because it's also a card of stalking. I'll give you another message. But there's somebody who's stalking you, workers, who is enamored by you. 
Okay, they're perhaps waiting for you to move away from something very toxic. And this life-changing epiphany that I picked up before could be that, that you realize there's somebody around you who loves you like this. A Knight of Cups is very Scorpio for me. This is somebody, you know, this Knight has almost stopped in his tracks. But this is somebody who has such deep emotions because when Scorpio comes in, oh boy, Scorpio, they love with a passion. They hate with a passion too. This is somebody who loves you with a passion and they're around you. Virgos, this energy is around you. It's a knight of cups. Okay. This is, un, this is somebody who is waiting to hand that cup to you. They're waiting. They're waiting. This is Scorpio, yeah, obsessed with you. Now, this is, could be somebody who is taking a lot of time or they're a bit slow because this knight has stopped in his tracks. Because perhaps they have been hurt. Or I'll give you another message. Perhaps you are in this energy now. You sh I'm, sh I'm showing you your three avatars. Part one. Part two. Perhaps part three. Where you have a lot of love, but this time you are strategizing. And you're not going to rush in. Perhaps you are obsessed with somebody. I don't know if you've been stalking somebody. But I feel there's somebody here who has been, you know, looking at you with such admiration and such love. And this could be a Scorpio. But they're just scared to come in because perhaps they have been hurt. But do they have love for you? Hell yeah. Be very careful with their heart too. Just like you are. I think there's somebody exactly in your energy who's around you, Virgos. And they're waiting to enter your vibration. Allow them to come in. Bring this cycle to a close with somebody very arrogant, somebody who refuses to be vulnerable. You have Scorpio, okay, quite strong in this reading. You have Scorpio in this reading. Whoa. Give me another card for my, whoa, for my Virgos. Wow, Virgos. I knew it, the devil. I told you, I felt this, this, this card just told me there's a devil. Break free from negative patterns by understanding what the lesson is, the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or this could be a, a situation that you've gone round and round with this individual. The toxic karmic cycle. And you need to break free because there's life-changing epiphany that you are getting, my darlings. That sword. But you're understanding the half-truths somebody has been giving you and the juggling that has been going on and the holding back. Miser. Do they have it? Yeah. Not for you. Somebody very arrogant, very toxic. This is somebody who wants to keep you chained and bound and who wants to control this relationship. But there's a huge secret that came out. You found out, you found out the depth, depths of their obsession. See, they could be obsessed with somebody else too online. I'll tell you this. I don't know. Comment below, let me know. But there is some obsession that they're, or something toxic that they're doing. And you found out about it. You found out about this. Now, I like, you know, when I see these cards, it makes me wonder if as a couple, you are going towards divorce. Because you have, you have this... King of Swords here too. You know, somebody is trying to come into your vibration to match you. But they're just slow. But they are there. And the second message is that perhaps now you're going towards legalities. Bring the cycle to a close. Somebody here is dealing with, is either is dealing with this person who's also very rational and very clear and, you know, cut and, you know, cut and dry and, you know, you can do something very logical. Everything is about logic. It has to be like this, truthful, rational. They have been lying to you, man. They've been giving you half truths. They're logical and rational and everything else. But in giving in giving you the truths, they've not been like that. They've been giving you half truths, lying. This is also gossip. I don't know if you found out about some gossip. Now, this is also uh, somebody who's based on their principles, you know, has to be like this. Aquarian energy, very intelligent, calculative. It could be a lawyer. Could be, you could be going towards legalities with this individual. 
And if you are the lawyer you've hired, is going to take take you through this with ease. Now, this 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 card, you know, this page of wands. The minor arcana of the fool. Somebody here has been scared to speak up. Somebody here has been scared to take a leap of faith because they feel stuck. I feel this. And it's taken you a long time. This devil has kept you stuck, man, Virgos, round that mountain of deception and half-truths, holding back and no vulnerability. You finally, finally, at least reach the minor arcana of the fool, which is taking a huge leap of faith into your glorious future. Deciding where to put your passion now. Now, this is a card of divine timing. Again, gossip. There has been something that you found out. I don't know, via the internet or what? About a secretive affair. Some secret. Now, I'll tell you something else too. Perhaps the person who's coming in is a little slow and guarded. This, this, this Knight of Cups because they have a child too. Just giving you this message. I don't know, because there are two children then here. You have a child. You're showing up as, you know, you showed up as the empress with the with the little baby, with your child, and they have a child. And hence, they're thinking, you know, should I move? I'm just poor, but they're there. They are there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a different deck. You are at a point of deciding what to do ahead. You're, you're taking the time to think. I feel this. Now, oh, boy, look at the card here. I'm going to take it. Dealing with this, this devil. They want to grip and control everything, chained and bound. Break free from those chains. That's what that card said. Because they've kept you stuck. They've kept you stuck, Virgos. They've kept you stuck. Anchored, weighed down. And you've gone around the cycle with them many times, but you've not been able to break free. Some life-changing epiphany like that card said has come in. That sword has come in. Has come in. Cleared all the freaking fog and has shown you the deception. Okay. My Virgos. And it's been hard. Huh? They don't want to let go of the control. They do not. Very arrogant person. Huh? Very arrogant. Egoistic. Egotistic. My Virgos, please. Can you give me some messages for my Virgos? My Virgos. Hold on, Virgos. Just move my, my decks. Because there are too many of them. This here. I'm going to keep digging. No, Virgo, I do not like this card coming out for you. This is coming out again in your readings, yeah. Somebody here has treated you very badly, yeah. Very, very badly. I think they have not let you speak. They have kept you um, weighed down. Stuck. In something very toxic. And they've, they've tried to control you and your life. I think they have made you make decisions based on their needs and their wants. <laughs> They have made you take decisions based on them. Very arrogant person. The devil. This is them. Treated you like trash. I do not like to see this card, Virgos. I think in many readings, this card has come out for you. Come on now. I need you to get this rid of this card here yeah, from your readings. Because, um, no, I don't want to see this card in your readings anymore, Virgos. Okay? I do not. This person has treated you like that. Oh, I'll give you another message. Okay, since I, I let me put this out. They are trashy. Okay, with somebody else. The secret that has come out perhaps, you know, is of depravity. I don't know. Just putting this out there. You know, this was your wish fulfillment at one time. Okay, this was what you were yearning and hoping and praying for. This person. And it perhaps started off very well. You created a family together. I'm not getting any cards of, you know, um, what can I say? Any kind of financial problems? You, this was your wish. You created something in the 3D. I'm getting that. And the only thing that they've held back on is not money. 
is on their heart and their emotions. You know, some people treat that as currency, like, I'm not going to share it with you. But that's what you're supposed to give for free, yeah? Come on now. They didn't. Closed off. And you've wished and waited, you know, for them to open that heart of theirs. And not just their pants or their pockets. Putting it out there. You saw so many signs. You saw so many signs. You saw so many freaking signs from the universe. So, so many signs. Why did you ignore them, Virgos? Perhaps because this was too toxic and they kept you stuck. I feel this. They controlled you. Perhaps you were scared of the retaliation and the punishback that would come from them if you took a step. Let me know. Comment on it. Were you scared of this person, Virgos? Did they scare you? The devil is a very, very intimidating energy. It's restrictions. It's toxicity. You know, hence when I see this little page, you know, the minor arcana of the fool before you take the leap of faith. I think you, you, you're you in this energy where you're like, I'm going to take this leap of faith there yeah, and break the cycle. I don't care about this retaliation that comes from them. Fuck that. Sorry for my language. I'm feeling this. You've just been pretending, yeah. You've just been pretending in this relationship. Living beyond your means. And I think it's living beyond your means. You know, and this miser card, you know, tells me that you've been telling people that, you know, you're very happy and they're wonderful. You're not. You're pretending. And that's why this card of bless your heart, you know, I feel somebody here has some panic attacks, something Virgo. You can't keep this up. You cannot keep up this charade. Um, can't. Fake. Pretending. They're fake too. They're fake too. I'm going to put it back to them too. Now, this card, for me, okay, is a card of timing. And I like this card because there's this epiphany, this card, life-changing epiphany and experience. This is a card of divine timing and this is happening in divine timing for you. You're taking a break. Non-action. You know, this card also tells me that you're thinking what you should do next. And I like this for you. I like this energy for you. I like it. You're just taking a break. Taking your time to think. Strategizing where you should put your passion next. You're putting silence. You know, you do not want to fight with them because you know they would love to come at you with retaliation. And tell you how pathetic you are and it, how it's all your fault. So you do not want to give them this chance. And that king of swords who came up before, if they are going to don that avatar, it's best you do not confront this person. Because they're going to come at you with logic and more logic and some more rational thinking. And I know you do not want to do this with them. You do not want them to be in this energy towards you because this is what they normally are. And you know, this 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 devil could also be somebody who has anger problems. It's, it's all these toxic behaviors and habits, drinking problems, um, alcohol abuse, verbal abuse, all that jazz. Putting inaction, crickets, silence. Interlude, you're taking a break while you are strategizing. Now, Somebody here is definitely going to a child alimony government. So, yes, there are children involved here, 100%. Now, you know, I told you there's somebody in, like, I'm going to ignore this card of, inter, ignore this word interview and look at the same page, come together, get on the same page, talk. There's somebody in your energy who's exactly like you. Perhaps they are somebody who's been hurt in love too, Virgo. Okay, perhaps they're a single parent too, just like you are about to be. And I think they're coming towards you. I'm going to take one more card for you before I pull some uh, kippers. My world goes, please. Can you give me one more card for my world? Goes? One more card for my world, goes, please. One more, please. No, cards are sticking, world. Goes. Somebody really doesn't want me to talk. I'm telling you. Feel that. I don't care. I'm very nosy. Very nosy. 
five Virgos plus one card, just one. Thank you. Let's see what that is. Okay, Virgos. You know, Virgos, I told you, I feel there's somebody here who's pregnant. Did you find out that somebody was pregnant? Did you find out you know, the secret? Because this is maternal energy. Did you find out that somebody's pregnant here? I don't know. Just putting this out there. Somebody out there who's pregnant. Perhaps you found that out. That was a secret that came out. And they've been giving you half-truths about it. Did you find out that they have another child and a family? Again, I'm just putting this out there because this person has been lying to you, Virgos, under your nose. Now, I also want to give you another message. If you are thinking of moving away, okay, putting your passion elsewhere, going for a job interview, I want you to know whatever you're going towards is going to bring you blessings and abundance and you are supported. I'm going to take some tippers. I'm going to take some tippers on this. You've been seeing the signs, Virgo. You, you were seeing the signs. I know this was your wish fulfillment. And when you move away from this, you're going to bring this wish fulfillment that there's somebody exactly around you who has suffered similar things that you have. Same, similar things. They could be dealing with another control freak. Control freak. The nose is itching. So my word goes, please. Hi, Kipper. Skipper, can you give me some messages for my Virgo, Skipper? Thank you, Skipper. Some more. Can you give me some more messages for my Virgo, Skipper? Okay. Came out. Skipper? No, no, no. One by one, Skipper. Give me some more messages for my Virgo. You see what cards have come out, huh? <clears> Hell <throat> yeah. La, la, la. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who is so much in this energy. Person. See this? Look at this energy. This is somebody who is a military what, per, person, person military. Sorry for my bad <clears throat> French. Somebody who has a commanding position, demanding, commanding, control. Somebody who is an official person, no control. Um, it's a Taurus card. You have the Empress too. Disciplined, um, regimented, authority. Somebody who likes law, somebody who wears a uniform. This could be a lawyer, control. Look at all these cards. Dealing with somebody who's a control freak. Virgo, control freak. Hmm. No doubt about that. And here you are, the main female, showing up in your beautiful form as an empress. Look at this. How how beautiful are you showing up as elegant, beautiful, sweet, caring, classy, and all that. And all that. But you're tired of, you're tired of being in this avatar with them because you're dealing with this. You're dealing with somebody who wears a uniform, somebody who has uh, rules and laws. At four o'clock, we have a slice of bread. At two o'clock, we, I don't know. Yeah, what? This, this, it's too much. At 5.30, we have sex. This is not, this is not fun. Somebody wants to control everything. You have no freedom. You have had no freedom. You were tired of this. I'm glad you changed your avatar and you decided to let loose your Vishuddha and speak up against this tyranny. Great. I support you and the universe too. Now, there is some news here that this, you know, when I see this card, you know, this community card, like, you know, it's in the community or perhaps this person has got high honors. Huh? Let me tell you this also, high honors in the community. Everybody knows them. Whoa, they're amazing. They have this, they have that. Yeah, this is somebody who's created a lot of 
uh, a persona of this, you know, could be a politician because when this card comes out now, some very famous leader, politician, somebody who's got some high honor. So perhaps that's advantageous matrimony is what I'm getting. This loud man. Perhaps that's why you married them because they were well known in the community. Okay, well known in the community. People knew them. People know them that oh, this is this person. Oh, high honors in Leo. Professionally, you have you know. When I see this card, somebody who's got a lot of um, what what is that word? Yeah, good positions, good position in the community, success in a career. Um, somebody who is got good public opinion, you know, on their side. People know to do them. Oh, really? And they've been hiding behind that pretending fake. Do you remember that card? Fake. And I also think they have been showing to people that they have more money than they really have. The four of you know, this holding back. This miser card. And this fake card. I want to show it to you one more time, darlings. Hold on. I want to show it to you. You know, I'm giving you another message. Perhaps they were showing people that they have so much. They have bullshit. They don't even have money. They're fake living, living beyond their means. Holding back, perhaps on money too. Misers, love and money. Now, this despair card for me is something that you found out. And I think it's something that came in. You know, this card is life-changing epiphany. That came in about what they've been doing, the secret. Because this stands for problems in your home and it's about your love life. Remember this card? Family problems, arguments, arguments over arguments. It's not a nice card. This is also, you know, verbal abuse. This person, yeah, look at them. Destructive behavior. And you were scared of the retaliation and the punish, punishment that they would give you. You know, I hope you were not going through some physical abuse. Please, Virgos, if you are, do not allow somebody to treat you like this. Please leave. Reach out for help. Please. So somebody who's got a headache, literally. I think there's somebody who's sick here. Sick. Because even this card of bless your heart. But somebody, for me, has got palpitations, nightmares, despair. You know, somebody who's dealing with excessive demands from this devil. Dealing with the, you've been dealing with the devil, man. You've been living with the devil. I'm going to control freak devil. You can't sleep. Despair. Tortured huh? with worry and stress. Virgos, take cognizance. Virgos, come on now, take cognizance. I like this card. Well, you're bringing this to a close. The death card has shown up twice. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You're bringing a cycle to a close. You're ending this. You're making a decision to end this. Bringing about a change. If you're married, you're getting unmarried. You are. If you're in a relationship, you're bouncing. I like bring this change. And you are transforming yourself. I'm telling you from this sweetheart. This, this this baby doll, this this empress who touches and turns things to gold. Hello. You're going to speak, speak, and speak. And nobody shall stop you because you're tired. You know, I have a feeling that you have either stayed for two reasons. One, because of a child, and two. You're leaving also because of a child, not yours. You found out that they have a child with someone. I feel this. You know, this entrapment, pregnancy. You found out that they have, have a child with somebody else. They kept you stuck also because of your child. Huh? I tell you that too. But there's somebody there who has been keeping them stuck. Uh, they have a child with and you found that out. I feel this moon is just that. This moon is that for me.
you finally have mustered up the courage to leave. I like this. You are just taking a break. Remember that interlude, having popcorn? Strategizing, where should I put my passion next? And you're leaving. Somebody's packing up their bags and leaving. So you can see they're changing the home. They're moving. I like it. Go. And if you're leaving with your baby, awesome. <clears throat> awesome. Some gossip has come out in the community, I feel. You found out that they have another child, though they were very respected. It's busted that bubble. That Neptunian fog has been removed. And I'll give you another message. If you are somebody, okay, who's leaving with a child, okay, the community is going to support you. <clears throat> They're going to support you. They're going to support you. Do not worry, Virgos. Do not worry. I'm going to take some Archangel Oracle cards for you uh, to see if I can give you any additional messages. There's somebody here who's leaving. Somebody is tired, tired of the control. My Virgos, please. Thank you so much. Oh. Career transition. You know, I perhaps feel if you're going towards some interview, because that interview card came out, though I felt that this is somebody on the same page as you, but perhaps if you're going for an interview, there is a transition in your career. And you know, this transition card, Okay, is all about the death card. It's about the death and the transformation, the transition, the moving away from something, and you're doing it. This is Archangel Shamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. You know, whatever you're going through is going to open up doors for you for your career too. I feel this. I'm talking to somebody who has sacrificed their career for this marriage or this relationship. No more. You are getting an upgrade in your career. And your angels and your guides and the universe supports you, Virgo. Claire Cognizance. Archangel Uriel, pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. You know, the universe has been trying to communicate with you via signs, yeah? Giving you little signs, playing a certain song on the radio, somebody delivering a message. They've done their best. I want you to now pay attention. The minute you start to do something, what is the first thought that comes in? And then what number do you see? Does a song play? These are all ways that the universe is communicating with you. And it's a very, very benevolent universe who loves you. Okay? Take charge. Leadership. This Archangel Gabriel, this for me is you. Mine arcana of the fool, deciding to take a leap of faith. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. Virgo, this is so you. This is quintessential Virgo. You have that lamp in your hand and you show the path to everybody else. You have had the courage to go within and seen all the filth, the secret that was exposed. This is about a pregnancy. There's somebody that is pregnant, okay? And it's not you. By your beloved, yeah. It's time. You, know, you see this, this, this little horn that they're holding, this in, angel? It's like the judgment card. Where, you know, Archangel Michael is blowing that horn. This is Archangel Gabriel. They're the keepers of the sky, the protectors. And they're asking you to assume your leadership qualities, your powers, and guide others. I feel there's somebody here who's a teacher. <clears throat> if you have thought about teaching, go ahead. It's your time to take your power back. And I think somebody has sacrificed their career for this marriage because this individual has kept you chained and bound. You're breaking free from this control freak. Start your career. Get back on track. The universe, God, your guides, your past on loved ones, they all support you. Comment below, Virgos. Let me know what you're going through. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I cannot wait, Virgos, to come back again, okay, and do another reading for you. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye. I love you. And... Bye.